I think I'm just so fucking motivated by the same time of feeling so fucking irritated, annoyed, and fucking just pissed off as shit to realize that generations these days can think that they can have shit handed down to them on a silver fucking platter. Now hopefully this is the last time for a little or a long while that I ever make a video over the username of McJuggerNuggets. It's just coming right down to the point where it's just so fucking irritating, especially from, a, I guess, from the minority of people uh, looking at the videos having their own critique and opinion about Mick Juggernaut yet once again just being an ungrateful little fucking prick, and I'm sorry, my patience has just grown thin, thin and thin to the point where I just need to at least get this out. I've been very, very rational, very civil, and tried to be calm, tried to advise him of what he's doing. It's just my criticism of it. But the way that he also reacted within like a few videos of the Phoenix Rising one, yeah, you know, to all the fucking guys talking in the comments saying, you know, I should, you know, I should get a job and all that. Well, YouTube is my job. You clarified in the fucking video that you don't make enough off of YouTube. And as for the fucking t-shirt uh, sales, I mean, okay, that's good for you. You got something going for you there. But what happens if that fucking backfires? Regardless of the fucking subs that you have, I could. I couldn't care less about how many fucking subs you get if a million you rub it into your dad's fucking face. Bunch of just stupid bullshit. It feels like everything is just fucking handed to you on a fucking platter. I myself, okay, think that this is fucking stupid. Malarkey. I think, what I think from clearly my own perspective, you're acting more of an ungrateful prick than ever, thinking that the, the property that you're currently on is of your... For fucking uncle, it's like it's all yours because you fucking took beers. Yeah, you took that as a fucking joke. You take stuff that doesn't belong to you. You're using the fucking uncle's electricity and using his shit without asking. It's the same fucking shit that's going on with the father. So, to clarify enough, you stated in one of your videos that you do not make enough off of YouTube. What does that tell you? It means... Reality is biting you in the ass. Reality is knocking at your fucking door. Knocking at your fucking door. Or at least scratching at the door like the fucking wolves. Going off tangent for a few fucking seconds here over the little, uh, the forced part where people are saying, oh, you're a fucking moron, it's fake, oh, it's real because this and this, this and this and this and this and this and... It, it, who fucking cares? One problem that I'd have mainly to the people who think it's fake. It's your opinion, I get it, that is your fucking perspective, and I can completely respect that. But when you tell me it's fake, please don't fucking sue me, Bioware. Anyway, if you think it's fucking fake, believe that it's fucking fake, and do not try to force, to force convince me on your behalf for your own satisfaction that you think it's fake. If you think it's fake, then provide me fucking evidence that it's fucking fake. I don't know how much time I have to, how many times I have to keep saying this. Your opinion is your own fucking opinion. If you could provide a Twitter post, a behind-the-scenes footage of, of him and his fucking dad planning the whole fucking shit out, anything from a Facebook post, anything him, from him t telling anyone that it's fucking fake to begin with, then by all means I will fucking believe it. But until then, it is subjective scenario. So keep it to your either, either keep it to your fucking self or provide. Proof. Same thing goes for those who could who pertain to it as real. I, for one, think it's real in my own perspective, but I don't force that fucking shit onto anyone. It is my own fucking perspective on that shit. I suggest you fucking deal with it. Because if I am trying to convince people that it's real, then I will, prov I will provide evidence. I will provide factual evidence to support that fucking shit. Jesus, what goes on in your fucking minds? But anyway, off that fucking part for the bit, we go now to the current video, which is the Psycho Dad pays the uncle the visit. <sighs> this is the part where I get more irritated with McJuggernuggets as we speak. Periodically, we can show a pattern. If I could, you know what? I could provide clips of this. As a matter of fact, I will provide fucking clips of his attitude. Let's take a fucking look. It's not fair that you get an Xbox One that you didn't even ask for, and I get nothing. Je nothing! Jesse, Christmas isn't about just what you get. I don't, oh yeah? 
You know how much it means to me. Are you? All I want it for one thing. I want it one thing. I'm, gonna say grace I'm not saying that shit. I think it's stupid. Well, I know you I think it's stupid, but at least you can't can say force something. religious beliefs on me. Oh, nobody's but forcing that on you. No. Could well, you, just, you gonna... just say something Look. that you're thankful for? It's Thanksgiving. You can I'm not thank playing you. his game. Why are you taking this off? And I'm grateful for mom for buying me a new Xbox One after my dick of a dad destroyed it. So you don't Ooh. appreciate hey, that? Threw her under the bus. You're not listening. If you were a better dad, you would understand. Hey, do you who don't do you even realize how big that fucking number is? Could have helped me out. I didn't even know. You didn't I... even know. Your son's living in a tent. You don't even know. I, well, I knew you were in a tent. I didn't know. I didn't know he came out there and crushed it. Well, you knew I was living in a tent and you didn't do anything about it. You didn't fight for me? I'm... Yes! Whatever. And so we go up to recent date with the fucking videos as well. I will show you another fucking clip of the up-to-date psycho dad pays the, the uncle to visit. I'll tell you about that one here in just a second. But most of the times when the uh, uncle was setting up the tent, showing him around the house, providing that sort of, uh, you could say, service for his son, what does he do? He's taking advantage of what he's giving him. Am I just going out on a fucking limb here, or am I just confusing a lot of people when I'm just kind of going on with what I'm saying? Because it's the same exact type of shit that he's doing over, over, and over, and over again. How can this not be any more fucking clear that I can say just into that point? It's like he just came in and took on over. Now, as for, I guess, his cousin, uh, who I will also respectfully keep within the uh, private grounds to not give away the name. Uh, I guess from what the information has been told that this person's cousin is the one who informed of his uh, informed his father that he was crashing there. Now, I can't I can't really go into any more lengths of how I would fucking feel if someone was, you know, hiding shit from me or using my stuff without asking. I'd be pretty fucking pissed too. But he's just acting so fucking ungrateful, so how far is it that we had to take it so much? And now, to the point where I'm gonna fucking say about this whole fucking comment about the whole fucking job and shit, I myself have a fucking job, and I do fucking YouTube too. What the fucking do? So you run fucking YouTube with your fucking channel and you nearly got fucking million subs, but how far is that really gonna fucking get you? I've said this clearly once. What is it that you have to give up? It's not like you're giving anything up. You've got nothing to lose, dude. Seriously, so, so I honestly don't see what goes on to that fucking head of yours. I honestly don't fucking see anything like that. And you want to know my fucking perspective on this now? Go ahead, Juggies, go go do whatever the fuck you want to do with this fucking video because I honestly don't give a fuck, but I'm just going to say to it fucking clear. Mick Nuggets, you to me just show the prime example of a generation that think they can just leech, 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 suck, 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 leech, leech whenever they fucking want. That you don't have to grow up and face the fucking real world. It, 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 yeah, trying to put ourselves in your fucking footsteps. There's no fucking people that can have electricity. There's some people in the world that don't have a fucking tent to live in. There's some people in the fucking world that don't have good clothes to fucking wear. And they're fucking trying the fucking best to get a fucking job. And you're saying to yourself that you're having a fucking hard time? Well, yeah, I can kind of see you're having a hard time with your family and all. And also having a fucking home situation. But there are many people out in the fucking world, legitimately, that are going through the same damn motherfucking thing. The difference that distinguishes between them and you is that they're trying to make a difference in their fucking life, while you, on the other hand, are bitching, moaning, complaining about how much you're not getting your fucking way. If anyone doesn't take your side, it's like they're your fucking enemy. Now, why does that sound so fucking familiar? Oh, Onision, holy shit, we just made another fucking reference. Anyone who doesn't take your fucking side is like a fucking enemy to you. You've treated your mother like shit. Despite the fact that I, I said in my other video that I think she caught you too much. But to another point though, it is also you who has treated people like shit. You treated your mother like shit. You treated your uncle like fucking shit. 
That is how grateful, ungrateful you have become in the front state of my fucking mind. I'm just going to fucking say it. Grow up. You're going to have to face the fucking reality of the world someday, McJuggernuggets. And it's going to bite you in the ass. Repetitive as it sounds, it's going to bite you in the ass. I don't want to fucking have a son that, that would act like you. Honestly, I fucking wouldn't. And I've said it before, and I do agree. I do think the father does take it a bit too far. But Jesus Christ... I don't want to be anywhere near these types of people. If you don't make fucking much off of YouTube, and the shirt sales don't seem to be going anywhere, then what do you have to fucking turn to? There's going to be a point in time you're not going to be able to use the fucking electricity. At the way you're pissing your fucking uncle off, there's not going to be a point where you're going to be able to use the fucking water and shit. Now, my advice to you is to stop spending the fucking money you have, save that up, buy yourself a new fucking place, and do your own fucking shit. Do your own fucking videos and your own fucking privacy. Your own. If you have a friend that lives in an apartment, then get a fucking job and split some of the fucking rent with him so you can enjoy what you fucking do. Because like I said, it's not like you have to give anything up. If you really want to go a fucking step further, then take fucking responsibility. And quit fucking pointing fingers and then dragging people down thinking that you're, they're your fucking enemy because your, fa uh, your father and your uncle shook hands and then all of a sudden you're... Because he's not taking your side. That's one of the big major fucking issues I have with you fucking Jugger Nuggets. So grow the fuck up. Now, why don't we continue on and show the fucking clip as the example of the, the up-to-date psycho video of the psycho dad visiting uh, the uncle. Let's take a look. Well, he actually told me that you smashed the trophies. <sighs> and you know that they weren't just your dad's trophies. Well, you, well, you know why I did that? Because he smashed my YouTube play button. That was an award. I won, yeah, I just... But those trophies were my trophies, too. <sighs> they were our companies, man. We can't go back in time and do that. It's, those days are over. <sighs> I mean, it wasn't... Really, I'll tell you what. That really pissed me off when I found out about that. Do me a favor. Don't go through my shit. And okay, God all right. Said, Please don't hide my beer on me. All right, I, now I know. I, I didn't think you'd react this way. I... This is one of the things you're going to have to learn in life. you got to take responsibility for what you're doing. Take note of that very fucking carefully, Nuggets. Responsibility. You know? Yeah. You know, everything has a consequence for it. Yeah. And then... I mean, why why are you guys shaking hands though? Like, what? Uh, I'm like, it makes friend. me. I know, but I've I, been friends with him since I was a little kid. But when I see that, it makes me feel really uncomfortable. Like, like everybody's out to get me or something. I ain't out to get you, Jess. I'm not out to get you. Your whole fucking life seems to be just based on fucking YouTube. There's so much more for you out there in the fucking world. You don't want to get a fucking job. You know, there's other people in the world that are thankful to have a fucking job. And there's some people in the world that can't get a fucking job. Because they don't have a fucking home. They don't have a fucking social... They don't have a fucking residence. They don't have a fucking, uh, you know, fucking legal tenders that provide that sort They don't have fucking social security. They don't have a fucking bank account. They don't have anything. There are people in the fucking world that be thankful to have something like that. And something like this from you, McJugger Nuggets, it pisses me off because, like I said before, and I will say this one last time, you yourself do not want to grow up and face the fucking real world. And as for your little fucking juggies, I'm sorry, and I'm not generalizing here because I know there's a lot of people out there that are subscribed to you that have a fucking brain and civil and the rationality to at least either agree or disagree with me, and I can completely agree with a lot of things and disagree on a very civil fucking plane. But, a lot of things I can point out here. Ungrateful. Spoiled. Thinking everyone has to take your side. You hide behind people. You hid behind your mother. You destroyed your, your father and your uncle's trophies. You fucking go onto people's property and then automatically fucking take over. Setting your stuff all the way around, like taking control of the fucking house. 
your, your, with your Super Nintendo console. Taking control of his fucking porch. Taking control of his fucking electricity. Fuck. You're not living your own fucking life. You are basically... You are... You are sucking people dry. I feel sorry for you. I honestly fucking do. I, I don't know what to fucking say anymore. At least the bit, the the factual, distinguished, honest truth between you, McJuggernaut, despite the fact that you have almost over a million subs, which I honestly do not give a fuck about because it's just a number. But the factual, distinguished truth between you and me, the fact that even though I am still living with my parents, I'm 23, uh, honestly... But at least I have a job. My associates, and from what I hear with my manager, I am at least one of the people that they depend on. I make good, I make a good amount of money, which is pretty good. I'm not bragging about that shit. But I'm also doing YouTube, so what do you fucking know? It's not like I'm giving this up so I can just do that. It's not like I'm giving that up to do this. I'm practically doing both. What do you fucking know about that? <sighs> how, how do I just fucking end this off? You really want to rub it into your dad's face? Do you really want that so fucking bad? Then do exactly what your uncle, in key words, said. Take responsibility. You really want to rub it into your dad's face? Then take a step further in life. Take a next step into being a fucking man. Get yourself a fucking job. Get your own fucking place. Then enjoy the fucking shit that you fucking do. Do something that will fucking help you. Maybe then you will also earn the respect of your dad. Maybe he will get off of your ass less frequently. Because of the way this shit's going, you are out of fucking luck. You have got no fucking roads to take. Left, right, or ahead. Can't go back now because guess what? You're already kicked out from the back. In other words, keywords, your house. Your old house. You're running out of options. So you better figure something out. Clock's ticking. I'm done. Fuck off.